Hello guys, welcome to my video. This medical cases with Dr. B. These are cases that are important for those practicing, and cases that are important for medical students who are preparing for the USMM exam. Okay, our discussion today is armpit limbs. You know, most people, both men and women, they experience uh, lumps in their armpit. In most cases, some of them are worried. Why some, some people that are not worried about it, but we have to be very, very concerned when we notice a lump in the armpit. So most of these lumps are caused by swollen lip node or swollen lip, lip gland. So either the seriousness of these lumps in the armpit varies, so we should take it very, very serious. So there are so many causes of uh, lumps in the armpit. Some of them could be, you no. Know, some of them are not caused by cancer, while some of them are caused by growth in the fibrous tissues, which is called fibroadema, while some of them could be due to allergic reactions, while some of them could be due to viral infections or bacterial infections, while some of them could be due to fatty growth, which is lymphoma, lipomas. Some of them could be due to the adverse reactions due to vaccinations or fungal infections, or it could be due to low points, or it could be due to the breast cancer, lymphoma, or cancers of the white blood cells. So, as so we always notice one thing, we have to look carefully, examine the symptoms of this lump in the armpit. We have to check the size of the lump. We have to feel it to check for the textures of the lump, if it's soft or if it's hard. We have to check if the pain, if there's a pain, if it's a painless lump or a painful lump. So, as we said, they have the, the various in size, so some of them could be very small in size, or some of them could be very large in size. When we are feeling for the textures, we feel for the softness, or we feel if they are hard. As I say, for the soft tissues like those with cyst infections, those with cyst, those are very, very soft. When you feel it, they are, they are soft. But those that are cancerous, that have, that are tumors that are, that have cancers, such as like fibroadenoma or other kind of cancer cells, they are very, very hard to touch and they don't move, they are not movable lumps. So those lumps are very, very dangerous. When they are hard, when they are not movable, and when they increase gradually in size. Also, so some of the lumps could be a painless lump or could be a not painful lump. A pain could be a very painful lump or could be a not painful lump. So a painful lump are serious, are due to allergic reactions or, or bacterial infections. But not painful lungs, those are very, very serious. So, as I said, the seriousness of the lungs is very, very important. Because sometimes most of these lungs they increase gradually in size, gradually in size. So, those are dangerous and they will experience no pain, no painful lungs. And those lungs go on for a long time, they don't go away, they are always there. So when it's time for that, you need to see, you, see, you need to see your medical provider. So how do we do a diagnosis? So diagnosis is that we run an allergic test. An allergic test to see this are due to allergic reactions. Then we draw your blood to do your CBC count. CBC count, we check, what are we looking for in the CBC count? We are looking for the red blood cells, the number of red blood cells. We are looking for the number of white blood cells. Then also, we have to do biopsies. Biopsies is a way by take a tissue of the sample from the lump and take it to the lab for testing. Then we also have to do the chest x ray. Then we do the breast x ray, such as mammogram. So, in most cases, when, is, when we notice that these, these lungs are not harmful, they are not, they are not harmful. So, the kind of treatments you can just give them over the counter pain medications, such as Motrin. Tylenol, or they can take an onion of this antibiotic cream and apply it to the lungs in the armpit, or they can do a heat pack, or it won't compress. Or if it's a lot of the cause of due to the allergic reactions, they can tell them to stop what is causing the allergy. A lot of things can cause an allergy. It could be due to the deodorant, could be due to the soap, so many things or the chemical you are using. So, if it's due to bacterial infections, we can give you antibiotic. But for lungs that are very, very 
medical serious. You know, you all know it's going to require surgery, it's going to require radiotherapy, it's going to require chemotherapy. Thank you guys very much. This is Medical Cases with Dr. P. If you love this channel, don't forget to subscribe 